Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the first episode of the second season of Uchu Senkan Tajimis the ship. So, last episode, you know, the finale of the previous season, we had this epic battle in atmospheric pressure just going towards Earth and just trying not to die mostly from that. But in the end, Subaru did survive, but it seems as if Durandoru, his, his mech, did not, so... If that's the case, uh, rest in peace. You did a good job there, keeping your pilot alive, and you will be missed for sure, especially your cockpit, because he did mostly like you for your cockpit. It's just how it goes sometimes. So yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to go from here. Is he just going to be like stuck on Earth for a while, and we'll have a whole arc of him just kind of wandering around in this new, unfamiliar environment, you know? I don't know. So let's just get into it and find out things like that. Three, two, one, play. Looks like we have the same opening. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> a little bit of recap here, okay. <laughs> to a light, yes. Cockpit addiction, it falls into the Chrysler. Okay. Okay. Don't remind us, we're still morning. Try to pick a fight, man. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem. Oh no. Are you okay, Subaru? Is this the addiction coming into play? Like withdrawal? Or is it just the atmosphere not agree with him? Oh no, that does sound pretty bad. Just hit him in the back. CPR or something. <laughs> yeah, you're not you when you're hungry, crap of Snickers. <laughs> I saw it coming, but just still hearing him say it. <laughs> uh, it just needs that that thing in his hand. I mean, it's only been a couple minutes since he's. Oh. Okay, I guess he's out of there. Hopefully he has fit the cab fare. Well, we got a high speed chase now. <coughs> Did he have to go to the bathroom? Um, what am I looking at? <coughs> okay. Okay, I guess that's close enough. <laughs> I will spend my entire fortune here if I have to. Uh, where next? Oh, Tonkatsu, right? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's also kind of like a cockpit. Uh, I guess that's good enough. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's why you... That's why you gotta lock it better. Well, now his brother's cockpit is not an option either. Not that using your brother's cockpit was a great substitute either way. Oh, that's a lot of words. Okay, just gotta hold out for a little bit longer. Are they already here? Yeah, somebody's here. And they are ready, f ready for you. 
Maybe. It's my brother. He's the bad guy. I captured him. Please give me reward money. But no, that's not what he said. That's what I would have said. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, let's check this place out. Elaborate. Is that underwater? I guess. Okay. Is that a big deal? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I saw the one good female character in that on that box. I think. Yeah, like your tiramisu stuff. That's can never have too much baka. No. But yeah, let's let's pick up some of the stuff. Yeah, we got we got to bring this back. Must have it all. Well, of course. A must-have item for sure. Uh, that doesn't really look like him. Not very much. Yeah, it's just... It, it, it's not him. It's, it's just not... Oh, okay, don't have to break it, though. Somebody still worked hard on that. But yeah, no respect, no gratitude. This ray truly goes to the dark side. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez, that... Oh, God, that would be horrible. Choking on a toy that's the fake. Oh, what, the union's always choking you? I guess that tracks. Oh god, that's disgusting. Oh. Wait a minute. Is that... No way. That's, that's, that's not their father, right? It is their father. Okay, wow, the plot thickens further. He's not even in a wheelchair. Okay. I'm sure they are. They definitely get you more attention. But yeah, anime in general is amazing, so... Well, that was the first episode of the second season, and, you know, pretty good start. We are definitely in, like, a new environment on Earth, and cockpit withdrawal, like, minutes after it broke, which it surprises me because, like, he goes longer than that out of his cockpit just, you know, walking through the hallways and stuff, I would imagine, so it feels like it's setting a little bit too quickly, but I've never experienced cockpit pit addiction so i guess i wouldn't know too much so i'll let that go for now but uh he tried to deal with it by going to anything that looked kind of like a cockpit like massage chair uh ramen place with the enclosed like walls which i've always wanted to try one of those you know i love the sense of privacy it gives you nobody from the sides can just like look over and see what you're eating i love that it's, it's a good feature what like a very a very good feature now i didn't really get this joke here like, when he first went to the chair, it was like, he, the brother says, you're not planning to buy one. It'll be indecent if an employee comes. And it's like, indecent equals embarrassing. And then, like, the Japanese says, yadashi equals hazukashi. I, I'm not sure what the overall joke here is supposed to be. Like, they're different words. Is it just him making a mistake? The language mistake, and that's the joke? I, otherwise, I don't quite get it. Because yadashi, yeah, it's more like lewd, and hazukashi is like embarrass, embarrassing, so... They are different words, and they don't, even, they don't even sound that similar. Like they both end with a she, I guess, but I don't know. Beyond that, I'm not sure what the joke is. But uh, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, we actually had the the union pop up, like Earth Union G H Q, to to go get them. Which is uh, I always call him brother Isuzu. Isuzu wasn't a big fan of that, but we did. They did get to take us to this really cool like underwater headquarters which was really cool they even had a gift shop which sounded great until you realize that you know the 
the Subaru action figure figure thingy. Uh, it looks nothing like him. That's pretty. That's pretty disappointing because you fight so hard, you put your life on the line for these people, and they sell merch of you that doesn't even look like you. What a slap in the face. Apparently that's why Isuzu doesn't like the union. And, you know, this, the father shows up, who I guess is, like, leads the union. He's in his wheelchair, so he's still alive. And I guess there seems to be some animosity there, at least between those two. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. I guess we'll get into some more family stuff, maybe next episode. But, uh, he just, he almost choked on that figure. Just... That would be tragic, you know, dying because you had a, a toy that looks, that's supposed to look like your brother, but doesn't really look like your brother, in your throat. Like, dying that way in front of your brother. It's a horrible way to go. It just, it really is. For sure. But yeah, some of that merch I definitely wouldn't mind having. But anyway, let's, let's move on to the next episode. Okay, I got episode two all set, ready to go. And it actually looks like we're going to get a new opening, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's check that out. And three... Two, one, play. Actually, I completely screwed that up. So, uh, you yeah, know, let's try that again. That was a false alarm. Let's, let's try that again. Yeah, sorry about that. A button didn't quite push like it was supposed to. So, yeah, let's try that again. And three, two, one, play. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a really cool shot. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, okay. So the father definitely going to be relevant to this season. Huh. Yeah, there's some interesting visuals in here for sure. Definitely got my interest peaked of how this is going to go. All right. Reunion slash Neo Universe. Sure. Huh. Oh? Is it a new cockpit? Uh, it never forgets. Never forgets. But as long as he cares a little bit. Oh. That may get his attention. He needs a new mech. So... That might that definitely be enough to bait Subaru. A new cockpit can definitely bait Subaru. Two fusion engines, wow. Forbidden territory. He does not want to be here. Dr. Ichinose, that was like straight up English. What the heck? Uh, that, I did, I, okay. Did not see that coming. That really caught me off guard, actually. Uh, he's not gonna die of a heart attack, is he? Uh, I mean, if we gotta die after saying something, that would, could be worse. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Hopefully. But, is it worth it, though? We are underwater, so it will be hard to get to us. <laughs> yeah, just just do that. That's the always the most important thing. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay. Oh. Wow. A little bit of a slip there. But anyway, it's a cool mech though. That's what matters. Yeah, all he sees is the mech. That's all that matters. That all he says. With two billion, wow. That's uh, 
That sounds like a scam. That quite clearly was a scam, man. Like, I didn't quite catch what the, the first one said, but that one was definitely a spam. <laughs> They're just, you know, young people are just more familiar with the internet. <laughs> Is he finally back home in his cockpit? Wow. This kind of feels so good to use. Oh, are we going to have a chance to try it out? To, to fight something? That's perfect timing. Uh... He could probably live with that. Perfect chance. Perfect chance to take this baby on a test run. So let's get out there. Of course it did. He is a protagonist. He is the hero of this story. Oh no. Oh my god. It's, it's a brand new shiny cockpit and he just... Yeah, that is the worst. That's, that's seriously just the worst. Like it bothers me more than it probably should. <laughs> uh, priorities, you know? And look at that mess. Just, just look at it. Just throws it back down. Okay, well that's something. Moist tissue thingies. Right. I guess that should probably be used right about now. Wow, what a failure. And the enemy's still knocking at the door. Oh no. Well, I guess I should have seen this coming. Because he is still an enemy, so... Somebody probably should have kept an eye on him. To be continued. Oh well. Very weird verbal take you now has. Uh, so yeah, things are definitely happening in this season. That's that's for sure. So this episode, well, we did get to get uh, we got to know the father a little bit, like the fact that he's not too good with technology. Because the first big big thing that happened with him, you know, after we talked about the new mech and stuff that we we're gonna go show Subaru, uh, he got an email. Now I didn't completely get what was going on here. Like I just kind of thought. He just, this is some kind of secret addiction he has or whatever, and he's like piled up a lot of fees, or like that's kind of what I thought. Well, I didn't quite get what this was, but once we got the second email, it became clear that he's just getting spammed. And he doesn't quite get that because the amount, five, 540,000 yen, like that's that's over 5,000 US dollars. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for sure. So, no, no website really would charge you that much so he should have been suspicious just just from that really but like an idiot he pays it and just yeah he needs a stronger spam filter it's really what it comes down to but yeah anytime you get any kind of email where it's like hey uh there's, there's this beautiful single lady with a lot of money you know you can be with her just with one small payment of your own you know just or there's some prince in another country to offering you some kind of big way to make money that but you gotta pay him some money first anything like that you should be pretty suspicious of like right out the gate because nine times out of ten 
999 times out of a thousand, it's just, it's a scam. So, you probably, you probably shouldn't do it. So, yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> that was, that was quite unfortunate. And the man that he's with, apparently, all he does is just say his name. Dr. Uh, Ichi, Ichinose, yeah. So, that's, that's his job, apparently. So, the cockpit itself, though, when we finally got to that, it looked great. Like, the overall mech looked great. The cockpit looked great. Is why it was so tragic. When he just spilt his food all over it. Just, that hurt my soul. <laughs> like, just, whenever you get something, like, brand new, it's all shiny, it's it's pristine, it's clean, it's good. And then you just, you, you want to keep it that way, right? Until the novelty wears off and you get used to it, you go through this the period of wanting to keep it as clean as possible. But right out the gate, before you even really used it, before it even started moving at all, mess. All over the place. That just, it, it kind of triggered me. It was horrible. It was just horrible. But gravity, which he's not used to, that's that's the thing. And it doesn't excuse the mistake, though. It was still horrible. Just horrible. But yeah, uh, uh, Is Isuzu's companion kind of came over to rescue him. Where we had to fight against him. But we all just kind of forgot about that. More focus on the mech. Which gave Isuzu a chance to do a bit of a coup here. You know, like pull out the gun being like, Okay, I'm in charge now. You just you give me the mech and I'm getting out of here. So, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Not quite the most heartfelt, friendly, wholesome reun family reunion ever. But... At least, at least we know the father's alive. That's a, that's a good thing, I guess. So, but yeah, he's definitely Subaru's father. Like, I definitely got that impression, that's for sure. If nothing else, I definitely got that impression. So not much to say on the episode beyond that, really. Just, yeah, get a stronger spam filter. And... Be careful who you trust, you know? Like, don't let the guy that's currently an enemy just stay over there by himself with a gun. Well while another enemy attacks. Like, that was not a good combo. That's kind of what led us to our current situation. So maybe we should be more careful of that. I uh, just, just this is my opinion. But anyway, yeah, pretty good solid start to the new season, I would say. And I did quite like the new opening. So. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snoki and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.